nobody from the district attorney's office or even Trump's attorney has been able to firmly corroborate that anything is going to be happening here on Tuesday. He thinks he's going to be arrested tomorrow. Former President Donald Trump predicted he'll be arrested as soon as tomorrow. Former President Trump says he is bracing to be arrested today, potentially. He says he could be arrested as early as today. All of that breathless reporting centered around what Donald Trump said would happen yesterday, Tuesday. It's Wednesday, and he's neither been arrested or indicted. And yet the media literally keep following Trump's every social media post like cats chasing a laser. Or in his words to Playboy magazine 33 years ago, the show is Trump and it is sold out performances everywhere. Lauren Wright is here, professor of politics and public affairs at Princeton University. You know, there's that old joke from uh, the American president movie that re reporters like him, or in this case, reporters hate him, Donald Trump, but network executives love ratings and Donald Trump rates. Yeah, but Leland, it's a huge deal. I mean, I I'm kind of on the side of the media here. What are you gonna do, not cover the first time a president of the United States is potentially indicted. I mean, it's it's materially important. He's declared a candidacy. There's this question about the extent to which it's politically motivated. So the right is very interested in that. The left is very interested in the charges. And so I am sympathetic to the fact that there's a lot of coverage because it actually is really important. It's yeah, uh, look, got a lot of factors that people care about. Yeah, no, 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 no argument here. It, it's yeah. immensely important and immensely consequential for the country of whether or not we, we cross the Rubicon uh, of indicting a former president. Uh, whether you're a Republican or a Democrat or anybody in between, uh, you should be really concerned about this because this is a huge yeah. change in how America does business. But the facts remain the same, that nothing is better for Donald Trump than media coverage, fundraising email, uh, asking uh, for his uh, donations uh, as, it, as it relates to this. Uh, our nation awaits an announcement on whether President Donald J. Trump will be indicted despite having committed no crime. Please make a contribution to stand with President Trump at this critical moment for 1,500 percent impact. Uh, the percent impacts in his fundraising emails keep going up over and over again. We have no idea how that works. But uh, it does work. Uh, the Mar-a-Lago raid brought in a million dollars for him, just purely from a polling standpoint, a public a perception among his supporters idea. And even some of his detractors, but who don't like the idea of him being indicted, this is good for him in a Republican primary, is it not? I don't think it is. I mean, I don't think it's ever good to be indicted by a former president. These are the circumstances he's in because part of it has to do with his actions. I mean, it's not just dumb luck that George W. Bush and Mitt Romney were never indicted. Part of it is because they never instigated a riot at the U.S. Capitol and tried to overturn the results of an election. They never paid hush money to a porn star. And so part of this, everyone must admit, is Trump-centric. And so what Trump is doing is, yes, he's trying to capitalize on a situation that he has no control over. And that perhaps is good politics. You take the situation you have and you deal with it, but he would never have raised his hand for this. No candidate wants yeah, this no. kind of attention, but he's dealing with it the best way he knows how. Thanks for watching. Go to newsnationnow.com to find News Nation on your television provider. And don't forget to subscribe. Click the red button to get more of News Nation's fact-driven unbiased coverage.